little after three in the afternoon. The place, downtown Grand Rapids, our mission, pay it forward. That means a trip to the United Way. Have you ever been to your food pantry before? We're the people that try to connect um, people who want to volunteer with the organizations and the people that need their help. Jane Royer oversees the volunteers. She's here to help us get on the right track. The common reaction might be, you know, where do I start? But I think you can start by just asking yourself some very simple questions. One, what's your passion? Two, where do you live? And three, how much time can you give? Find the answer to all three and it's time for a phone call to 211 or trip online. For that part, we're getting a little extra help. Cue Charles Archie, the web guru, with a little information. We can put in anywhere from a keyword, an interest, or a specific zip code. And a few clicks. Just as easy as that. We've got three locations that you can step into at any time. First up. Ken County's Senior Meals Program. They deliver food to more than a thousand seniors, and that's where the volunteers come in. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. People like Bob and Kathy Galvin. Today, they're showing me the ropes. So first, you gotta get the food down to the van. Not too heavy. Very good. Thanks. the van. We are ready to roll. Then it's time to take the food from the car off to the people. Hi, Barb. Good morning. How are you, dear? Bob and Kathy have been doing this for a year, about once a week. Everybody's got to eat, and I think they appreciate the fact that they can still accomplish that with some, some dignity. From delivering to homes to building them with Habitat for Humanity. We have to shore up the building. Mark Oglin hands the manager on site. Here they're rehabbing old homes, making them into LEED certified family homes for people like Abraham Shaw. I got three kids and my wife, so we'll be very, very happy to be in our own home. But it wouldn't get done without volunteers like Patrick McGowan, college student and volunteer. It's gratifying seeing something uh, get torn down and then uh, you yourself are actually helping build something and creating. And, it feels good. It doesn't really matter what your skill set is, they'll put you to work trying something new. Then on to our third mission, a much quieter pastime. Look who's playing in the hay. That's a dog. It is, the puppies growl, roof, roof. And the Ooh. kitties say, Ooh. meow, meow. And sometimes it's as easy as just reading a book. It's called the Reach Out and Read program. And what do you think his name would be? Volunteers like Marie Katenko go into doctor's offices to get kids interested in the words on the page. This is the mama doc, right? Hoping her time will be the gift that keeps on giving. That I really like being able to, you know, share that skill with them and um, hopefully inspire them to read too. None of these sparking your interest? Well, there's always donating blood, walking dogs, answering phones, making beds, bowling, teaching bowling. You get the idea. Basically, you name it, it's probably out there for you to pay it forward.